What if everything we've been taught about the material world is only part of a bigger plan for our souls? According to Gnostic teachings, the divine beings we call the Eons, the Demiurge, and the Archons play essential roles in our spiritual journey. Today, we'll explore the hidden truths from Eunostos the Blessed and reveal how understanding their purpose can lead us to spiritual freedom. Welcome back to our series on the Nag Hammadi Library. Today, we're discussing the Gnostic treatise, Eunostos the Blessed, which offers profound insights into the structure of the spiritual realms, the nature of divine beings, and the path to spiritual liberation. In this paraphrased version, we'll explore the roles of the Eons, Yahweh, the Demiurge, and the Archons, and how they fit into the divine plan for our spiritual evolution. Eunostos the Blessed, paraphrased. Eunostos the Blessed is a philosophical and theological treatise that explores the nature of the divine, the structure of the spiritual realms, and the roles of the Eons, the Demiurge, Yahweh, and the Archons. This paraphrased version reflects intuitive Gnosticism, emphasizing the idea that these beings are not evil, but play essential roles in the cosmic order. The text begins by describing the true God, who is the source of all existence. This God is beyond human understanding, a being of pure light, love, and wisdom. From this divine source emanate the Eons, who embody various aspects of the divine nature, such as truth, wisdom, and love. The Eons reside in the Pleroma, the fullness of the divine presence. In the Pleroma, there is perfect harmony and unity, as each Aeon reflects and expresses the will of the true God. The Eons are described as divine beings who work together to maintain the balance of the Pleroma. They are arranged in pairs, each representing complementary forces, such as light and truth, life and wisdom. These pairs exist in perfect unity, ensuring that the Pleroma remains in a state of divine harmony. Sophia, one of the Eons, plays a significant role in the unfolding of creation. Her desire to express the fullness of the divine leads to the emanation of a new being, Yahweh, the Demiurge. Yahweh, the Demiurge, is created by Sophia as an embodiment of divine justice and order. However, Yahweh is unaware of his origin within the Pleroma and believes himself to be the supreme creator. He begins to shape the material world, imposing structure and law to bring order to the chaos that exists outside the Pleroma. Yahweh's role is not one of malevolence but of necessity. He is the architect of the material world, creating the conditions for souls to learn and evolve. His strict sense of justice ensures that the material world operates according to divine principles, providing a framework for spiritual growth. To assist in governing the material world, Yahweh creates the Archons, powerful entities who oversee various aspects of creation. Each Archon is responsible for a specific element, such as the stars, the earth, or the forces of nature. Their role is to maintain the balance and order of the physical realm, ensuring that it serves as a place for souls to experience growth and transformation. The Archons are often misunderstood as oppressive forces, but in intuitive Gnosticism, they are seen as necessary agents of the divine plan. Their challenges and obstacles are meant to awaken souls to their true nature, pushing them to seek knowledge, gnosis, and transcend the material world. Yahweh, in his desire to create beings in his own image, forms humanity from the elements of the earth. However, these beings are incomplete until Sophia, moved by compassion, infuses them with a divine spark, a fragment of the true God's light. This spark gives humanity the potential to transcend the material world and return to the Pleroma. The divine spark within humans drives them to seek liberation and knowledge, even as the Archons attempt to keep them bound to the physical realm. The soul's journey involves awakening to its true nature and overcoming the limitations imposed by the material world. The text teaches that the path to enlightenment lies in recognizing the divine spark within and seeking Gnosis. By understanding the roles of Yahweh and the Archons, individuals can overcome the illusions of the material world and reconnect with the true God. Enlightenment is achieved through self-knowledge, spiritual practice, and the pursuit of truth. As the soul awakens to its divine nature, it begins the process of returning to the Pleroma, where it will experience unity with the divine source. Eunostos the Blessed concludes by affirming the harmony of the divine plan. 
the creation of the material world, the role of the demiurge, and the governance of the archons are all part of a greater design that facilitates the spiritual evolution of souls. By embracing this understanding, individuals can transcend the material realm and achieve spiritual liberation. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope today's message blessed and inspired you as much as it blesses us to share it. Don't forget, we post new episodes of Paraphrases of the Nag Hammadi Scriptures daily, along with Intuitive Gnosticism today. You can also catch Intuitive Gnosticism story time every Wednesday and Let's Choose Jesus on Sundays. Be sure to explore our other channels, too. At Stardust Studios, you'll find original audiobooks, and over at Cheese vs. Bananas, The Footocalypse, we post fun, silly songs. May the inconceivable God bless and guide you. Love, hugs, and kisses. All doubt.